Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's recipe, we're making tilapia Veracruz. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with that dish, we're gonna grill up some tilapia and I'm gonna make a salsa type sauce to go over it and we're gonna serve the whole thing over a bed of rice. Very delicious, guys. I think you'll love it. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. So let's go over our ingredients and get started. Okay guys, here we have our tilapia and some nice fillets. Not a lot of bones in this fish, guys, so it's a good choice, I like it. Here I've got my fire roasted tomatoes out of a can, which has some really nice flavor. I use uh, Mir Glen on that one. I have a half of a yellow uh, onion diced up real fine. A red bell pepper. I have some poblano peppers here that are chopped up nice and fine. Some capers. I have some minced garlic right here, some oregano, a lime. Back here, I've got a little bit of rice that, like I said, we're gonna serve it over the rice. And we're gonna season our fish with a little bit of ancho chili powder. It has a nice smoky, uh, earthy flavor to it, not too spicy. And we need a little salt and some chicken broth. So we're gonna start off with our rice because that takes, you know, 18 to 20 minutes to cook. So I got the temperature on high. I've got my chicken broth in the pan already and I'm gonna add the rice. I did rinse the rice, like it said on the package, just follow that. And I'll add just a little bit of salt to this. All right, our rice is up to a boil. I'm gonna cover it, like I said, and simmer it for like 20 minutes. So while our rice is cooking away, we're gonna work on our sauce. I forgot to mention we need a little bit of olive oil. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll put some in here, uh, maybe a tablespoon or so. I'll have all the ingredients listed below the video, so make sure you check out uh, the description of that video, this video. All right, so we're gonna put our onions in here, the bell pepper, and the poblano pepper. Now guys, feel free to spice it up if you like it really spicy and use a jalapeno. Uh, I like things kind of mild, and so I use a poblano. You could use a, an Anaheim chili, you know, whatever you want. So I got this on medium heat, and we're gonna saute this for a good five to eight minutes. So I want everything to soften up. All right, guys, so I, I confess, I went about 10 minutes on this. I always like to go a little longer. It's better, in my opinion, to go longer with your sauteing of the onions and the, and the peppers than going to, you know, not enough. Anyway, that's what it looks like. And now I'm gonna add the garlic and we're gonna saute this for a couple of minutes. Now I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So here goes the tomatoes. I've got a little bit of water here that I'm adding. Here goes the oregano, the capers. Squeeze some fresh lime juice in there. Now we need to add some salt to this. I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer and we're gonna let this cook away. So make sure you stir everything up really well to combine it. And we're just gonna let this sauce simmer and cook down just a little bit. To get our fish ready for cooking, all we wanna do is put on a little bit of salt over each piece. And then I'm gonna take the ancho chili powder and I'm gonna sprinkle that as well. I'm preheating my pan over medium high heat. I want it to be pretty pretty hot so that uh, this will sear up and cook and get a nice little crusty you know, exterior. All right, I'm gonna add a little olive oil to the pan. We'll start laying in our fish. Now, some of these pieces are thicker than others and they're gonna take a little longer to cook. And don't crowd your pan either. So if you don't have enough room for that third piece, which I don't, we'll just wait. Now I'm gonna season the second side. So we're cooking the fish about four or five minutes per side. It depends on how thick it is, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over. Use a spatula because as these cook, They, uh, they get fragile, you know, they break easy, so you wanna be real gentle with them. Mm -hmm. 
The fish is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and place it into the saucepan. And these thicker pieces, of course, might not be done in the middle just yet, but we're gonna let them simmer in here. I still have my other one to cook, but I'll do that later. So this is a nice, easy dish to put together. Don't you agree? So I'm gonna serve it up, like I said, with my rice that's ready. This is just really easy to put together any time of the week, you know, when you're busy even, and uh, it's delicious. It really is with all those flavors. And yeah, it comes together nice and easy. I'm gonna finish it off with just a little sprinkle of cilantro. All right, so let's give this a taste. Sauce over here, because you know, it's always the sauce that makes it, right? Nice flavors, guys. Tilapia is a very mild fish, and so all the other flavors, that salsa-type sauce is really delicious. I taste the garlic, you know, mildly, and the onions, and a little bit of the lime. I like that. And uh, yeah, the fish is, you know, it's got that nice little ancho chili powder on there that is not too spicy at all. It's just right, and I think you guys are gonna love this. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and uh, share it, share it with uh, your friends. You, you know, if you think somebody might enjoy this delicious dish, uh, share it with them. I really appreciate it. So thanks again for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, this is your first time here on my channel. There's a couple of buttons to subscribe. There's one over here that'll come near the end of the video and there's another button down below the video. So check those out, click them, and uh, you'll be notified every week when a new video comes out. Thanks again for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.